All right, let's do it. I'm assuming this is the Kim Pachi episode. And then after this, I got one more episode and I'm fully caught up. And I hear the last episode is gonna be an hour long. Stern Ritter V, I, I ain't read that. Oosh. But she gets punched, right? Who was I trying to hit it? Oh, I have three versions of my power. Vanishes in the first. My very existence. She's adapting that quick? Damn, Yachito's clean. But he's still there. Okay, this reminds me of a, the chameleon's ability from Hunter x Hunter. He's still there, so she could punch him. She actually hit back out of reflex. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be difficult, but Yachiru might be the perfect enemy for him. <laughs> she's adorable. Adorably scary. And a little happy. Oh, she's gonna pick up a sword. To cut down such people whenever I find them. She's just like this nigga. Even if I cut down this person, I will not bother him. Ooh! She ain't no vice captain for no reason. Our second seat, I forget what they call it. He thought he was gonna be a problem, so did I. Woo! Is this a Shikai? The sword didn't change. Yeah, she didn't call out its name either. Nigga, does Yachiru have a Shikai? You would think Kimpachi trained her a little bit, especially if she's the vice captain. I was planning to cut you in half. That's Kimpachi. Never mind. I'm just so happy for him to come back. Who the one of his own kind killed him? As a creation of my imagination. From my memory, what? Wait, he can imagine other Stern Ritters? Grimmy is his name. I can no longer imagine your future? What the fuck? What the fuck? No. I'm overreacting because once this nigga dies eventually, the power goes back to Yuha. That's what's really messing with me. We figured that out last episode. I was so hyped at the beginning of last episode because we know Ichigo's coming back. The strongest power in the world is imagination. So he's the imagination. Stern Ritter Eye. Anything I imagine will come true. Within his limits, right? It's not limitless. That's cheating. That's cheat. This nigga should be Yuha. You gave him this ability. I'm sorry. There you are. Yeah, we would need you for a guy like this. He's not in his Shikai. And we don't even know the name of- Nigga. Grimmy is the final boss. Oh, yeah. Let me- Let me get back to this. I was the one who killed her. If you hate me for that, you can kill me. You inherited it, right? He's the true Kenpachi. The name of Captain Unohana. What does she mean, inherit to the name? Just as I imagine. What the fuck, bro? Okay, we also don't know how strong Kenpachi is yet, but we know he's crazy. He caught up to Unohana immediately and has a Shikai now. Stern Ritter V. Damn, so fucking quick. Oh, he's quick. Kenpachi can cut steel, nigga. What the fuck? Yeah. Come on. What are we talking about? Yeah, I knew it. He's just matching his ability with him again. He's still the type of person to enjoy the fight from the very beginning. You can't make something I can't cut with your level of imagination. Because I am Kenpachi. Ew, this nigga's nasty. Kenpachi's here. Oh, shit. Can you heal your own wounds? Why do I feel like Kenpachi's happy? He found somebody he can fight with forever. That's what this is gonna turn into, huh? Just him having hella fun. No, you can't. That's cheating. This is a rendition of Unohana's theme. Oh, yeah, he inherited her name. Focus. Oh, he's stuck in the water. Oh, and he cut. No matter how extraordinary you are. What if he just cut? He's gonna cut it. He's gonna cut his way back up. It's ridiculous versus ridiculous. Have returned to normal. 
You were so focused on fighting me that you forgot. He has to keep imagining those things. No wonder he's standing still so long because he can't really move too much and think about anything else. Ask him. He gonna be the real problem. I can tell. He's perfect for Shun Sweet. They're so relaxed. Kotetsu's spiritual pressure. Go down and let her heal your arm. The strongest Quincy. You should want to defeat the strongest opponent because you are the strongest. Oh shit, this is Kenpachi. <laughs> I never thought about that. Has he found a challenge? By the way, Kenpachi is incredibly battle smart. He figured out exactly why Yachiru healed. He's gonna have fun too. He just makes everything so fun. This nigga brought out the. He has missiles. He has. You realize how broken this ability is in any other anime. Yeah, he's just gonna raise his level to what he can cut. Until it gets stronger and stronger. I can cut even steel. Oh my god! Gave that man the hand of God. And he cut him again, bro. It's just back and forth. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because he has to imagine himself being healed before he can make another move. Ooh, the imagination can also go against him. If he's thinking this way, it'll mess with him, right? Yeah. <laughs> this man is teaching him how to control his ability. How quickly the grin comes back to his face. Oh my gosh, Shadow Clones? He created BG9. No Zarashi. Something about the weather. He's gonna cut the fucking meteor. He's about to call out to No Zarashi. And oh my gosh. Drink. Oh, that's so clean. Almost as clean as Sakanade. Where did you come from? Gaki. His younger self. Oh my god! God damn! There's nothing I can't cut. Yeah, this is literally his dream, his ideal fight. We're just casually going past the meteor situation, by the way. You'll be stuck in space. He's gonna cut space. Oh my god! Listen to his scream. What the fuck? You forgot to make your body hard. He has to remember all of this stuff. What? Is that a, a detonator? What is going on? Okay, it's not as overpowered as we think. Grimmy has to see the imagination through in order for it to have any effect. Kenpachi was just basically feeling the sensation, but once he got cut, it's like he was never in space to begin with. Yeah, see, it's getting to his head immediately. But he's met an opponent that surpasses his imagination. He doesn't feel like he can do it. He has a monster in your mind. You were killed by that monster. Yeah, he gave that ability to the wrong person. 
Damn, these go by so fast. Yeah, there's end credits. See how smart Kenpachi is though? He understood his ability more than him. This ability in Yuha's hands is terrifying. My imagination was correct. And it was more than correct. You are a monster. He's taking his brain out of his... Is all a product of my imagination. He's just a brain. This is getting weird. He's Adam Yeto. So he is dead. He's also reaching its limit. Damn, we met Grimmy one episode and he's gone. That's a final boss character and he's gone. Green. That sounds like Candace. I wanted to say something real quick before we move on to the next episode. What the fuck? His ability is insane in the wrong hands. And guess what? Since he died, it's going back to Yuha. That's the only thing I can think of right now is after all of this, we're still gonna have to deal with that nigga. I also wanted to say like, you think this man's ability is very broken, which it is, but notice how much he was talking when Kenpachi was in space. I think it was necessary for him to describe the sensation that Kenpachi was going to feel in space so he could imagine him having that feeling. That's why he has to stand still while he's talking, while he's looking and observing. Like, it seems like a very complicated power. Stern Ritter V. He has the potential to be the strongest Stern Ritter, but it's a double-edged sword. A really cool one. He summoned a fucking meteor. Now, does he know how strong a meteor is? Does he do, like, research on these things so he can accurately assess them? Because he should have been able to summon a meteor Kenpachi couldn't cut, but in his mind, what he saw in front of him was just too much of a monster. Too much of a strong-ass nigga. So, yeah. Uh, Grimmy, really clean. Really good character but we just saw him for 20 minutes. The pacing in this has been crazy fast. I don't know if the manga was like this, I haven't read it, but I imagine we're moving much faster in the anime because all these Stern Raiders have so many crazy abilities and we're just finding ways to deal with them. So I think these are all Quincy's that he gave, no, because he's a baby, so he couldn't have gave them blood. But they're giving their experience and thanks to all those who have died. So those hands are all the people that died and gave him experience. They have helped me see the world as it really is. Yeah, he's, damn, he's like Aaron Yeager times a million. Nigga seen everything before he physically lived it. There's no turning back. I think the opening's really cool, by the way. Like, putting them into a modern scene with Kubo's fashion sense. Smith <laughs> doesn't care about anything. Well, Yachiru. That was her lieutenant. He told her to go to Isane to get her hand, her arm healed. No, the way her clothes are just laid out. Not undone, not damaged. It looks like she just disappeared. Candace? Whoa, nigga. Oh, it's the girls. The opponent is Kenpachi Zaraki. It's only natural that I go this far. <clears throat> yeah, they seem incredibly powerful too. Oh, what? Ooh, Luffy? Lee, Lil Toto, and that's the super strong one. Stern Raider P. Power? If I read what she was saying to Bambietta correctly, she can turn people into zombies. I don't have such combat ability. Even if you killed me, it would do no good. Does it go back to him? My blood splashed on you. I take control of you. Stern Raider Z, zombie, right? And then Candace. Oh my god, they're clean. And they stay together too. Stern Raider T, Candace Catney. Uh, okay, now nah, they're clean. They're clean. Fuck. Yeah, he's a monster. That is why he is a special war power. Oh yeah, one of the five, uh, Damn, she's strong, nigga. Why is he able to move so freely after fighting Grimmy? Is he a monster? Wow, yeah, he is. <laughs> Please. Striking this nigga with a thunderclap and he's still moving, bro. I can't move my body. Yeah, I mean, they ambushed you. He couldn't really do much after fighting Grimmy. That makes sense. Yakuya, is he gonna finally show his new abilities? Ichigo, she looked up, come on now. Come on, that'd be so fire. What the fuck? 
Oh, they're all looking up because they noticed. He said, hold out a little longer till I get there. Nigga. I'm not gonna lie, that entrance, getting everyone's attention like that. We finally get to see this man fight with his true Shikai. Damn! How did you get beaten up so badly? The Headless Star. Oh my gosh. I live about to attack. This is very specific, which I'm about to say. But the last time, yep, he's fighting them without using his Zanpak to- The last time Ichigo wore a different outfit is when he went to save Rukia from the Sokyo coup. And in that different outfit, he punched Isane and all the lieutenants and other captains. The most dangerous member of the special war powers, Ichigo. I just think that's a really cool callback if they did it on purpose. He's in a new outfit and he's literally not using his Zanpak to. He's got an explosive temper as well, goddamn! Is that her bolt star? Oh my gosh, that's clean! He grabbed it. He grabbed it. Giga Jewel Blast. I wish I could measure how much that is. One or two holy arrows. Ah, you broke his stuff. Oh, that new outfit is clean. Ichigo's here, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so the little heart right there is all their weapons. You hoss finally standing up. So now this is where the real battle. Oh shit, I wonder if I have the honor to be chosen. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Nah, Ichigo's crazy. She reminds me of a female Shinji, but Hiyori reminds me of a female Shinji. It's just a hairstyle. I also just really rock with Shinji, so you guys can just watch. <laughs> Nigga, he just used it to block. Oh my gosh, he's disgusting. Wow! Are they gonna... Holy sled. Yeah, I guess they're either gonna combine or... Yeah, yeah. I'll fuck with her. Just the personality. Death of God. She reminds me of Loopy. Power of God. Hunger. I feel like he's just vibing right now. I just seeing what they can do. By the way, Ichigo's one of the very few Soul Reapers who dual wields. Cause he technically has two Zanpak toes. One's the Soul Reaper power, one's the Quincy. He's in rare territory right now. Wait, she can eat him and absorb his power? Oh, she also ate... Oh, girl. <laughs> they have no chemistry. Okay, Candace is tough. Electrocution, nigga. New technique. Oh, it's when he combines them, I guess. to tell her to dodge. You idiot, dodge. No, that's crazy. Ew. 
Stop fighting him! Stop it! Stop! Stop! You guys should just die. Wow, they don't fuck with each other. Like, none Snatching is a privilege for those who arrive late. <laughs> Taking the credit. Oh, we've already seen all y'all fight, so that means they're getting out of here. Wait, the episode's gonna end, huh? Oh, that must be you, huh? That threw him off. You have a. He's gonna fight Uryu? Wait, I didn't think that was actually gonna happen. To attack the Soul King Palace. Oh! When he broke through the 73 layers, they were open for a little bit, is what that means. I'm assuming. Because of the key. A door has been opened. Yuha wanted to attack the Soul King. Ichigo is wearing is most likely the King Key, which is made from the Squad Zero's bones and hair. Okay, because of its resistance and defensive abilities, it would take 6,000 seconds to close a door that has been opened at the regeneration rate. Wow, so he did all. Damn, this nigga Yuha predicts everything. So he's going up there to target Squad Zero and get to the Soul King. The enemy's target is indeed the Soul King. Yeah, it wasn't just the Moo King. Aizen? Oh shit. Oh. No, you wouldn't just show him for no reason. He's about to come out. Yeah, you're off guard. Do you think you can catch up to his majesty despite all the people around you? Uh, yeah, he probably can. Let's go! Yes, don't waste your time on these guys. Oh, Renji's about to take care of Bass B. I think he's strong enough. I won't let them pass. Oh, he's so clean now. But you have a grudge against the Quincy leader, right? Yeah, he has to talk to him at least a little bit. He's learned so much since they last spoke. Mmm, okay. Here's where Byakuya and all of them show up. One of them is Shinji. Yeah, I know he's gone, but I just had hope. So this is what we're doing. We're going straight to Jugrim versus... No! This is how he meets Uryu? Wow, no, they end up they end up going against each other. I just don't know why I couldn't buy it for a long time. You can't stop his majesty. Where's Urahime? And, uh... Chad, wouldn't they be with Urahara? Victoria. Oh no, that's just his regular move. Oh my god! <laughs> 17. 17. Chad, bro, he looks clean. Did you bid farewell? This is a forever farewell. No fucking way. No, he has to go back up there. No after credits for this one? You're gonna do that? You're not gonna give this one after credits? I don't know how many episodes this season is. Here, I can check. I, I, hold on. Okay, so Thousand Year Blood War Part 2 is gonna have 13 episodes. So we've got five more left, and the last one's gonna be an hour long. Ichigo just came from the Soul Palace. They said this is a forever farewell. So their issue wasn't even with the Soul Reapers themselves, but the Soul King. So now is Ichigo and the rest of the Soul Reapers just gonna fight all the Stern Raiders, defeat them, which eventually gives their abilities back to Yuha, and just wait for Yuha to come down? Cause they can't go back up. And I say wait for Yuha because, well, it seems like all of Squad Zero is probably gonna die to Jugrim, to Yuha, and to Uryu. But no, he called this a forever farewell. So they're not coming back down. We did cut to Aizen just for a little bit. So maybe he'll intervene somehow, but man, what an episode. From Ichigo's entrance to whatever just happened, I don't really know what I wanna see next. By the way, Kenpachi was awesome. I, I do wanna comment on that last episode before I go any further. Like that fight between him and Grimmy was amazing, but then this episode just turned up. We see how much stronger Ichigo got 
attack. He had to tell the enemy to dodge his attack. But because Yuha knows everything, he must have seen this coming as well. Ichigo coming back very strong with his new and improved Zangetsu and new technique, Getsuga GG Show, which seems like Getsuga Tensho plus Quincy Getsuga Tensho. No, because that was the longer sword. I think the smaller sword was Getsuga. Anyways, Ichigo came back incredibly stronger. Haven't seen his Bankai, by the way. Is the first time he used that going to be against Yuha? That'll be interesting. But that aside, we just can't get to the main villain. He just always seemed a step ahead. We're not gonna fight him by the end of this core. I think he's gonna fight Osha, the creator of names. He seems like the strongest one there, either him or Nimaya. I would argue those are probably the two strongest. And then Kirio, and then bro that's even faster than Soifon, and then the Sento Maru, I believe is her name. I can't remember correctly, but oh man, I just think they're all dead. I don't know how to end this. Like you thought it was super cool. Ichigo makes his entrance, going straight for Yuha. And what, okay, what does Yuha want when he confronts the Soul King? We haven't heard the Soul King talk. If he can talk, it seems like he's resting in some blue orb thing. And correct me if I'm wrong, but he doesn't even look like he has limbs. He just seems like he's floating in place. Once he confronts the Soul King and kills him, isn't that gonna disrupt the balance in everything and mess with everyone? That must also be why he said this is goodbye forever to Ichigo. Assuming his plan goes correctly, while he's up there killing the Soul King, the Seireite is done for, including every Stern Raider there. I think he does not give a fuck about his people that work for him, by the way, besides Jugram and who do you? The Soul King seems to have some crazy, incredible, strong Reishi. Is there a way Yuha can absorb his Reishi? Or maybe the Soul King, does he just have Soul Reaper powers? Or like Ichigo, does the Soul King have like Quincy powers? If that's the case, that would be my guess as to what he's trying to do. Because he has to keep absorbing powers or else whatever the fuck Jugram said at the end of that one episode. This episode was wild. A lot of questions, not a lot of answers. I'm fully caught up on the right side. So see you next episode.